Grandpa. You're gonna bring in your first ever episode of a baking edition. You know, summer is officially come to an end. And there's one thing I know I look forward to all year long. And that's the fall flavors. So today, join along with your gaming grandpa as we make ginger molasses cookies. Alright, so here we are, the first step. You're gonna need a few things. Here we go. We're gonna start by putting our dry ingredients here in the smaller of the two bowls. And using measuring cups, we are also going to use our wet ingredients in the larger bowl after. We're going to need two and one quarter cup flour. We're going to want to put in two teaspoons of brown ginger. I'm putting in four half teaspoons here because my teaspoon won't fit into the jar. So I'm doing four half teaspoons, still only two teaspoons for this recipe. There's a reason why they call these ginger molasses cookies. Is that ginger, of course? Next up, we got one teaspoon of baking soda, not powder, baking soda. We got three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. We have half a teaspoon there of cloves. Such an autumn flavor for Grandpa. And the last dry ingredient here is going to be a quarter teaspoon of salt. There we go. We're going to combine this. Make sure that it is whisked. No clumps and make sure it's evenly distributed thusly. All right, there we go. Nice and mixed evenly, no lumps whatsoever. Sifting, very important for baking so that it's evenly distributed. Set this aside, we'll come back to that later. But right now, we're going into the wet ingredients. All right, so we're gonna start by creaming together three quarters of a cup of margarine now you're going to want that to be softened beforehand and we're going to add one cup of white sugar to that at the same time we are now going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees okay when you're done creaming you have about a texture that looks something like this here and to that we are now going to beat in one white egg Right here, crack that in there and beat it together. When you're done beating the egg, it should be really light and fluffy like this. To this mixture, we are going to add one quarter cup here of backstrap molasses. Now, I choose molasses that is specifically cooking molasses. This one here is a little bit more strong in flavor we're making ginger molasses cookies after all. You want it to be super tasty. The last ingredient we're gonna add today is gonna be one tablespoon of water. Mix this together and then and that last and final step is combining the two ingredients. There we go, once you've finished again, you're gonna have a very light and fluffy texture. That is key for what you're looking for here. We are now going to slowly combine, I'd say, a quarter at a time, dry ingredients into the wet. That's a very important step. We're gonna combine this until we get a nice little bit of a dough here. All right, grandkids, when you have mixed all of your dry and all of your wet ingredients together, you're gonna have a batter has consistency. Looks a little bit like this here. What we're going to do is we're going to roll these out into about walnut size cookies. Although you can make them a little bit wider in diameter. Just don't make them too thick or they won't cook evenly. Alright, crank is the very last step before we throw them in the oven. 
We have our walnut size cookies here. Probably about the size of a, oh, I don't know, just bigger than a ping pong ball. Now I have some coarse white sugar here. I find it just much more decorative. Take that there, smush it down thusly until it's about yay big. And it's just going to be much more beautiful. Put it on the pan. We're going to want to place those approximately two inches apart. My pan will have about eight cookies here. Going to throw them in the oven 350 degrees for about eight to ten minutes. Well, let's see what the final result is in just a minute here. Okay, there it is. I was a little bit off on my size of pan. I do have my parchment down. No extra grease required here. I got six cookies. Can I throw them in the oven? Let's see what they look like when they get out. All right there, grandkids. Straight out of the oven. You got your crackled, crinkled, delicious ginger molasses cookies. I hope you had fun joining me on this video. My golly, I can't wait to eat these. These smell so gosh darn good. Grandkids, until the next video, remember, don't get too old, dang it. See you in the next one.